Hey YouTube, Oswant on 007 here to do a pay-per-view review, the one that just happened, Money in the Bank 2012. Uh, straight away, sorry for the uh, sound quality, I'm doing this on my computer, trying to get it out ASAP. So, uh, the first match of the night was a bit of a surprise for the first match. It was uh, the World Heavyweight Championship uh, Money in the Bank ladder match, or the SmackDown ladder match. Uh, it had Damien Sandow, Tyson Kidd, Christian, Santino Morella, Tensai, Cody Rhodes, Dolph Ziggler, Sin Cara, and as you would expect, this was a great match. Um, uh, they did a lot of great high flying stuff. Uh, the winner was fantastic. Uh, Dolph Ziggler coming out with the win was was just great. Uh, Sin Cara did his. Uh, he got power bombed through a ladder again by T uh, Tensai. Uh, Christian did an awesome spear off the la off uh, the ladder onto Cody Rhodes. Top stuff. Uh, Cody Rhodes had a good show, and the only one that really didn't have that great of a match was really Damien Sandow. Tyson Kidd really performed. He had a he he was the breakout star in this match. He did a great job, and he will be definitely seeing a lot more of him in the future. I hopefully reckon. Uh, Sin Cara did all right. Not nothing too special. Christian did a lot. Santino Morella had his uh, five minutes of fame. Tensai was average, just did his dominant sort of clear everyone out of the ring. The main stars here were Tyson Kidd, Christian, Cody Rhodes, Dolph Ziggler, uh, with a little bit of Santino in there. Uh, as, as I said, uh, Dolph Ziggler won. Great stuff. I enjoyed the match. Uh, four stars. I may have overdone this a little. Maybe only worth uh, three and three quarters, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, so that's why I'm giving it four stars. And I love the winner, so yeah. Um... Next match, World Heavyweight Championship match, Sheamus versus Alberto Del Rio. This match I was going into it thinking that it was going to be three stars, maybe less. And I actually enjoyed it. I had a bit of fun watching it. Uh, Sheamus came out the winners, he obviously would, but they really uh, had some psych great psychology here, uh, told a story, and they did a great job. I think I may have overdone it. I had it originally three and three quarters. I pulled it back three and a half. Feel that's about or about right. I might get a bit of flack from the IWC, but whatever. Uh, next match: Prime Fight Players versus Epic and Primo. A bit of a sh crappy match. Um, nothing that great. Prime Time Players were slow. I like the Prime Time Players. I don't think they they don't have much wrestling potential at the moment. They've got a little bit, but uh, their charisma is coming in buckets. I absolutely love their characters and their charisma. Um, but that doesn't make a good match. So Epico and Primo came out with the win here with a small package or something. Uh, and one and three quarter stars. Yeah. Oh, um, in the middle of the... After the SmackDown ladder match, the Miz came, comes out after his two-month hiatus, says he's coming into the Royal Money in the Bank ladder match. So, yeah. Um, then after Primetime Players versus Epico and Primo, you've got... A no disqualification match for the WWE Championship with AJ as the special guest referee, uh, C Punk versus Daniel Bryan. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Most people would. Um, I felt that their last singles match was better. Uh, this was very physical, a very physical match. I still, I, I was feeling that AJ was going to detract from the match, but she called it very much down the middle. Uh, even though at times she did stuff about a little bit, uh, which did distract from the match. If AJ wasn't there, it would have been a better match. Uh, but you can't help that. It was great storytelling. Uh, I still think AJ should have done something at the end of this match. But, uh, you know, the, this, obviously there's still more to this angle. So uh, Sam Punk came out the win with a, was a belly to back suplex off the uh, top rope through a table. Uh, AJ counts one, two, three. Uh, four and a, <coughs> a quarter stars. Looking forward to the CM Punk uh, John Cena match at SummerSlam. That should be awesome. Uh, rematch from Money in the Bank. Next match Ryback versus Tyler X and Kurt Hawkins. Pretty much usual Ryback stuff. Kind of got beaten on a little bit, but still came out with the win. Half star. And you've got Layla versus Tamina. Uh, Layla, Tamina, and Caitlin versus Beth Phoenix, Eve Torres, and Natalia. Very much a spiller, uh, filler match, just getting the uh, Divas on the card. One star there, nothing really that special. 
I think Layla came, Layla's team came out the win. Wasn't a hundred percent sure, but one star here. Um, then the main event of the night, which I probably was the right choice because it had been built up that way. The Royal Money in the Bank match, Big Show, John Cena, Chris Jericho, Kane, Miz. Kane really did nothing. Big Show had his got taken out at the beginning, then had his big spot in the middle, kind of brought out a, the big ladder from 2010, I think it was. Had the elephant ladder or whatever it's called. Um, John Cena obviously started this match. He won it in the end. Uh, did a uh, did a top job. The way that he won was a bit interesting. He was slamming the uh, briefcase into Big Show's head, and the, the 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 handle came off. And John Cena won. Bit surprised that way, but John Cena was a bit surprised that way. Um, so yeah, Chris Jericho did a great job. Did his stuff, and so did Miz. They both took their spots, and can't wait to see the Miz. Uh, hopefully, have a rivalry with somebody great and really push him back into the main event soon. Uh, I'm going to give that match a three and a half stars. Overall, I'm going to give the pay per view an eight point two five out of ten. Thoroughly enjoyed the SmackDown. There was only like there were three matches that didn't get above three stars, and in total, they probably only took up uh, twenty, maybe twenty five minutes of the card. So I'm uh, very happy with that. This was a good. Uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying these uh, Money in the Bank pay per views through the year. I feel that this is a great month for WWE and that. Uh, they definitely should keep this up. So, guys, I'm Oz on 007. Comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. I've got a Starcade, the Essential DVD Collection Review coming up soon. So check that out. Uh, I'm Oz on guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. See ya.